I'm Barbara. Welcome to Barbara Bakes. Today I'm going to show you how to make traditional Scottish shortbread biscuits. This is a gorgeous recipe, only four ingredients, and they're very quick to make. So get your laptops, your iPads, your recipe books, wherever you keep your recipes, and let's bake. Okay, so let me take you through the ingredients. Now sneaking in at the rear is quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. If your butter contains salt, you don't need to add the extra. And my butter does, because I like to bake with salted butter. I know a lot of people don't, so you'll need to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. In goes the butter and the sugar. Cream those until they are nice and smooth and light and fluffy. As you can see, it's changed colour. It's quite pale. It drops off the spoon. And at that stage, you're going to add your flour, your plain flour and your rice flour. Mix that together with a spoon, spatula or your mixer. But if you use your mixer, don't forget your flour is going to go everywhere. This will only take you 10 minutes in total for a nice quick recipe. This is why you need your butter to be nice and soft because if your butter was hard and your mixture was cold, this would be a really tough job. It looks quite dry, but that's the beauty of shortbread. Okay, so I've used my spatula to mix this. I've got it to this sandy texture. I'm going to pour it on my marble just so you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to squeeze it together. If you're using a mixer or a stand mixer, you will probably get it tighter than this on the machine. Just squeeze it together, let the butter melt in your hands. Now I do my shortbread in two ways, which I'm going to show you. So I've just roughly cut it in two and I'm going to keep pressing this into a log shape. And don't be tempted to add water because it's dry. It's a shortbread biscuit. It's short for a reason. Okay, so I think that's ready. So I've got some cling film. I'm putting the two ends together and I'm rolling my sausage. Make sure the cling film's tight. Just rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. And then I'm going to twist the ends like candy. And you can cut these ends off or just tuck them in and pop that in the fridge. And then we'll slice them into biscuits in about 15 to 20 minutes time. Greaseproof paper on the top, greaseproof paper on the bottom. And I'm just pressing down and it looks as though it's cracking underneath. But don't worry about that, we're going to smooth all that out. We're going to roll this into a nice rectangle and the thickness will be determined by how thick you like your biscuits. I've changed direction and as you can see by doing that, it smooths it out a little bit. And we'll continue rolling until we get a nice big rectangle. That's a nice thickness for me. It's about a quarter of an inch thick and that will make a lovely chunky biscuit. Today I'm using a cookie cutter to cut my biscuits, but if you don't have a cookie cutter, not a problem. You could use a cup or a glass. This is roughly the same size as my cookie cutter. So here are what we've got left. These obviously don't go to waste. I'm going to squeeze them back together, put them back onto my parchment paper roll them out. Now if you prefer shortbread fingers, just use a knife, cut it into rectangles and make some more cookies. So this dough has been in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. All I'm going to do is take it out of the cling film and slice it into biscuits. So all we need to do now is to decorate them with a fork, make a pattern on the top which is very traditional especially for the fingers and also I have some crystallized ginger that I've chopped into pieces, some caster sugar, which I'm going to use to dust the top. That's optional. And you could also use nuts at this stage, chocolate chips, raisins. So we're going to put these in the oven now for around 15 to 20 minutes. Gas mark three, 325 Fahrenheit, 160 Celsius. The shortbread's out of the oven. They baked for 14 minutes. Come and have a look.
These are the ones that we had in the roll. We rolled it into a sausage and we sliced um, the sausage into pieces. And you can see the difference in the size of them. This one, I would say, would be lovely for, you know, sharing with your friends for afternoon tea. This one is a nice snack with a cup of tea when you're getting all comfy, both melt in your mouth delicious. I've been making shortbread for a very long time and I have a recipe book from when I was 11 of how I was playing with the flour and the butter and trying to make the best shortbread recipe that I could. And I can guarantee that this is the one. This is an absolute keeper. Um, I actually use this recipe for my mince pies at Christmas, so you'll be able to hang on to it and use it during the course of the year. I really hope you enjoyed the recipe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and put your notifications on. Leave your comments in the box below, and I'll see you next time.